What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you had an awesome Christmas. It is like five degrees out here in Chicago and I'm totally freezing my butt off and I figured this would be a perfect time to make a video answering a couple very common questions and that is what are the dimensions and specs of my garage and the lift and how much did they cost? Also in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite automotive Christmas present. Now I'll do a full garage tour sometime in the summer of 2018. It's just like most of our project cars, a garage build is never done. Some have noticed and even commented that I'm missing things like outlet covers and the walls aren't painted. And believe it or not, I am fully aware. I'm gonna film most of this video in the garage because like I said, I am freezing my butt off. And in order to do that, I have to move my cars out of the way. And unfortunately, the C43 is totally dead. It's been sitting out here in the cold uh, for about two weeks, but this will give me an awesome opportunity to show you guys my new Christmas present because this little guy is actually a little jumper pack. So like I said, the C43 is totally dead. Check this out. We barely get a click out of the starter, so let's go check out the battery and see how dead this thing actually is. All right, so we're at 10.8, 10.7 volts on the battery so that explains why it's not starting so let's hook up the jumper i'll show you guys how this thing works it's actually really cool and really easy and this is all it is it's it's actually really small this thing would fit in a glove box and i know what you're thinking there's no way this is going to jump start a v8 engine but i've already tried this on three other v8 engines and it worked every single time so there's no reason it's not going to work on the c43 it's super easy they come with these leads right here and all you do is just simply plug it in turn the thing on and then there is a button right here that you hold down as soon as you hear that click you're ready to rock and roll and now these leads are live and we can hook them up to the battery all right let's see if the c43 starts and of course it does this thing works really really well so what i'm going to do is this video is going to take a couple hours to film i'm going to move everything out to the street including the c43 i'm going to leave the lights on a little bit longer drain that battery down even more just to show you guys how well this thing works. So if you wanna see that, stay tuned till the end of the video. Now, if you guys wanna buy one of these little jumper packs, it's an Amazon Prime item, and it's made by a company named Suauki or something like that, and it comes in this really neat carrying case where you can fit all the chargers right in here, and then the jumper itself fits nice and snug in this bottom portion. It comes with the wall charger, the car charger, your USB cable, and the jumper itself has a really bright flashlight and two USB ports so you can charge things like your laptop and your cell phone. And because I like to nickname people and also things, I've already nicknamed this my end of the world charger because if zombies ever take over, at least I can jumpstart my car, charge up my cell phone, and if all else fails, I can beat a zombie over the head with this thing as it's actually built really, really well. Now, like I said, this thing is on Amazon. This company did send this out uh, for me to do a review and I said it's not coming anywhere near one of my videos unless I 100% approve of it. And like I said, I've used it a bunch of times and it works really well. Worst case scenario, if you don't like it for whatever reason, it is Prime so you can return it. These are normally $69.99 on Amazon, um, but I was able to work out a 15% coupon code. So you guys can check that out in the description box below. Let's get going on this garage. All right, jacket is staying on for the remainder of this video because I can't run the heat in the garage while I'm filming. Um, so I built this garage five years ago, or rather I had it built five years ago. And the one that was here was 90 something years old. It was made of wood and it was completely rotted out. And honestly, this made the decision of building a larger garage with the lift so much easier because had we bought a house that had a two car garage in good condition, I don't know if I would have knocked it down to do this. But in the end, I'm really happy that we were kind of forced into it. We had five builders come out here and give us a quote on the garage and in the end I ended up going with a builder that had experience building a garage that was eventually going to have a lift in it as I thought that was really important. I didn't want to have any issues with the lift installer later on. Oh and because I know I have to clarify this, this was a license plate on my Turbo Trans Am and it means bone stock. And this was a license plate on my 1995 two-door Yukon that had the 6.5 liter turbo diesel. So it was a rare turbo diesel, rare TD, anyway. All right, so how big is this thing and what did it cost? The dimensions are 20 feet wide, 30 feet long, 12 foot walls, 18 feet to the peak of the roof, and this all cost me $24,000. So what exactly did I get for 24 grand? Well, the builder included the complete removal of the old garage and the concrete. The $24,000 also covered 
all the concrete that was needed for the new garage, including the driveway, a section of sidewalk, and the apron that surrounds almost the entire garage. This obviously included the complete construction of the garage with all the fees, taxes, and permits. There were a few other expensive add-ons worth noting, and that's the fact that there are three garage doors. You obviously have your main large garage door where the two cars enter, but we also have what's called a party door going out to the backyard, and then we have a smaller garage door facing the alley that I never actually used, but I figured if we ever sold the house and the person didn't want the lift here, this could still be considered a three car garage. Also, the garage door openers are not your traditional style center mount with the large track as that would get in the way of the lift. So we went with some pretty pricey side jack shaft mounted garage door openers, actually really nice and super quiet. They work really well, they're just kind of pricey. Now there's definitely quite a few things in the garage that you guys see in all these videos that was definitely not included in the original build cost. Obviously all my tools, the air compressor and the heater weren't included, but what you may not realize is that the insulation and the walls that you guys see and the ceiling with the lights, that was not included either, nor was the three 220 outlets and all the air hoses and air hose reels and this painted floor, which I did myself and I followed the instructions on the back of the Rust-Oleum box from Home Depot and it turned out just awful. But in the future, black and white tile is totally going down in here. Now, if you think I spent way too much money on a 600 square foot garage, consider that I live in the city of Chicago where everything is super expensive. And like I said, I gotten five quotes on this garage and they were all basically the same price. Also in Chicago, you're limited to 600 square feet. So I did go as big as I could go outside of going to a brick garage or being grandfathered in because there was some massive barn here a hundred years ago. I also do have family that live in the country and outside of large cities and it always amazes me at how little that they spend on such massive garages. So if you're one of those people, please comment down below. Let us know how large your garage is and how little you spent on it. Now that you guys know the basics of the garage and how much it costs, let's move on to the lift because this is actually really affordable as long as you have the ceiling height for it. Like I said, I have 12 foot walls in this garage, but this lift actually has two different stages. You can set this up at 11 feet, five inches like it is right now. And then if you move those bolts and just raise it up higher, you can get to 12 feet, three inches. Obviously I can't fit that, but at 11 feet, five inches, I've had no problem taking transmissions out of Suburbans and pickup trucks. So in reality, this works out perfectly for someone my height, about 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, this is a Challenger lift. It's part of their quality lift lineup, which is basically a budget friendly two post lift with a 10,000 pound capacity. It is made by Challenger, although the lifts are produced in China and they come with the same two year warranty that Challenger offers on all their other lifts. And some of those honestly are made in China as well. It's worked very, very well for the last five years and it cost me $3,100 installed out the door. The install process was actually really, really cool. I met the guy here at seven o'clock in the morning. I gave him a check for 3,100 bucks. And when I came home from work at 5 p.m., I had a fully functional lift. So I immediately lifted up my Trans Am to try and figure out some weird exhaust noise that it was making. I absolutely love this lift for very obvious reasons. I get to work on all my project cars fix all of my cars and all my family members' cars and whatnot, but also something to consider is that you gain a parking spot with a lift. Normally, I have one of my cars, preferably one of them that doesn't leak anything, up on the lift and then I park one right below it, usually the C43. So that's actually a huge added bonus. So even if you're not a mechanic and you're not gonna use the lift all the time to do hardcore repairs, uh, you can use it as an extra parking spot and it's relatively inexpensive for that as long as you have the height. That will do it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this one. I'm sorry if the audio was a little echoey, my lapel mic broke, but that will be fixed for the next video. If you're new and checking in for the first time, please consider subscribing to the channel. I think you'll really enjoy the content here. And if you've been around for a while, we hit like 50,000 subscribers a couple days ago, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for the support on the channel. I hope that everybody has an awesome day and I will see you all in the next video. All right, guys, I think I took this a little bit too far with draining the battery. We're at five volts right now. So let's see what this little jumper can really do. All right, here we go. Five volts of the battery. 